is Beyond Walk and Talk TV. Ano kahalaga ang corona para kay Sam? <laughs> Sobrang mahalaga. Ito yung pinakamahalagang bagay sa mundo ko ngayon. Because alam ko na I'm doing this for the Philippines. I'm fighting for the Philippines. And when you do that, you know, it takes off all the pressure and all the stress. Okay, so uh, yung nakurunahan na si Sam dito, uh, na-mention kasi niya na if she could have studied Thai language. Yes. So, para sa yo, uh, did you prepare, uh, you know, uh, practicing Thai language just to connect with the Thais? Because most of the people here are not speaking in English. Right. Well, of course, I took lessons also in Thai, but instead of trying to learn the language, I tried to learn more about the culture and what people resonate with, and you know, the jokes that they find funny, little things that mean a lot for Thai people, and I think that's also a way to show respect for the culture. Okay. Uh, has your perspective in joining Miss Grand International changed? Because nung nasa Pilipinas ka pa yun parang perception lang. Mayon. Ano na reality na to? Uh, Paano ba ang mga naging uh, relation mo sa Thai uh, management team? You know, everyone's been so helpful and so nice, especially the dance team. We work with them every day and whatever I expected in the Philippines for Miss Grant to be, it is everything and more. Okay. Because it's just been amazing. That's good. Yes. Okay, so good luck sa you, Sam. Salam and for us Filipinos, we are hoping for the crowd. Yes. Everyone and mabuhay sa inyong lahat ng Pilipina na nanonood. I'm inviting you to please keep voting especially for the national costume since we just finished this event and also for the preliminary which is on December 2nd and don't forget of course the coronation night on December 4th. Sana ito na nga. <laughs> you know learn the Thai language because uh, when you spoke a uh, Thai expression you caught the attention of the audience and so um oh, as you all know my trainer is from the Philippines is from um, the KF family I'm from the KF family and they started working with me for a long time and when they're working with you they work on you with everything from the walk to your presentation to question and answers to what you're gonna wear so I will say I was pretty prepared um, I remember my Tito Gio was like Abina you have to learn Thai I was like okay I will you know it's always good when you're going to a country you have to learn their language so they can be able to talk communicate understand their culture so that was very important for me so coming here to Thailand and learning the language I would say that it was completely a plus for me and I am so grateful for my camp as well they wow. really helped that's right okay you know some of the comments they would say your common expression when you say Pokrao, Tukon. Pokrao. Use it again. Can you say? Pokrao, Ajimi, Satsuna. So everybody say Pokrao. Pokrao basically is, means we. We, uh, right. Yes. And when you say Tuk Tukon, everyone. Suwadika, Tukon, okay. everyone. <laughs> now, when you were in the Philippines, uh, when you joined uh, Miss Earth, right? Uh -huh. Miss Earth, you had also an expression. A slogan, which, yes. <laughs> Which really caught the attention of the Filipinos. Yes. Can you still remember? Anbatan Malakas An Anbatan Malakas Kumaying I like in my Ghana. Oh, Ghana. Anbatan Malakas like in my Ghana. So right now that uh, we are searching for the new queen. Yes. What are we expecting for the next ambassador? 
I am basically expecting the girl to be kind, genuine, open-hearted, and willing to work. You know, the MGI brand is not just about the glitz, the glamour. We're just not looking for a pretty face, but we're looking for someone who can inspire and encourage girls from around the world. Even though my reign seems so short, I feel like I was able to impact so many people. I was able to touch the hearts of so many people through the power of social media. Um, sometimes girls reach out to me and they tell me their problems and I'm able to help them. And it's because of the platform that I have and I'm so grateful for it. So I'm looking for the next girl. We are looking for the next girl who can do the same thing, who is open hearted to accept everybody and help as well. That's well said. Now, you made mention about uh, Philippine camp, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, it was your training ground, yes. right? So how did Filipino culture help you? I mean, from the culture, people, right? How, how did we help you? Everybody in Philippines is like so nice. Everybody was so nice. And um, my Tito Raj and my Tito Gio, they were so nice to me. They took me in, they adopted me. I became an adopted daughter of the Philippines. And I'm always forever grateful. You know, I always say they've played a major part in my life because they helped prepare me for international. Because my first international pageant ever was Miss Universe. And after Miss Universe, I was going for Miss Earth. And then I met Tito Gio and Tito Raj through MJ. Um, so from there, they started molding me and I realized that my experiences changed you know I became better and better so I would say that the Filipino culture and my camp has really helped me and played a major part in my success wow, that's well said so your last message for all the fans who are watching right now live here in our channel I love you guys so much Mahal Kita and Salamat Po for all your support and your love I continue to cherish you and I'll forever be a daughter of the Philippines bye thank you so much you're welcome thank you so much for your continued support sa channel na ito at sa mga bagong nagsubscribe marami pong salamat at huwag kalimutang mag-like, subscribe, or comment. Hi, Beyond Walk and Talk to you. Hi, bye. I love you. Please watch Beyond Walk and Talk. Beyond Walk and Talk. You're watching Beyond Walk and Talk.